Hello guys, I hope y'all are doing well. Today I wanted to make a quick video about how to create a profile or how to make a like quote unquote portfolio. It isn't much of a portfolio, but a way to showcase what you do on GitHub. And well, as you may see on your profile, it's quite empty. So with the video I'll be showing you today, you'll be able to add this, which is a readme, which has a title. All of this is custom advisable, so you can put anything here. But I will show you how to make this a bit better and with better tools, like for example, your latest YouTube videos, stats, and so on. So yeah. And first of all, I would like to thank uh, Forest Knight and Code Starcar. I took a lot of inspiration from them and he is for example his latest youtube videos is the same as mine and i encourage you to do the same you don't need to reinvent the wheel you can take ideas from other people and implement it on your projects or in this case in your github profile so yeah as always if possible check more and more profiles on github so you will be able to get a better customization on your own profile but yeah i would like to thank both of them since I took and customized most of my GitHub profile from them. So yeah. So first of all, let's start with what you can see. How to set this up or how to create the readme on your profile. It's quite easy. All you have to do is go to this plus icon. You will click it and you will do new repository. And here you will want to copy your same name in my case it is fred gutierrez so i will do fred gutierrez and here the repository for it already exists on this account but by copying my name here below you can see that fred gutierrez is a special repository that you can add a readme to your github profile make sure it is public and initialize it with a readme to get started so you won't get this issue and what you will simply want to do is add a readme file and create a repository all right, once we have it created, there is one option I would like to give you if you want to quickly do it, if you really don't want to like super personalize it or change it like a lot, if you really just want a pretty looking readme quickly. What you can do is actually go to this page or this repository made by a GitHub user, which he created a web page in which you can enter all of the information you want and actually create a readme file for you to just copy and paste so for example if you want you can do here hi i am i don't know fred or let's say david i am a passionate front end developer from i don't know uk i'm currently working on i don't know react dot restaurant for example and you can look at everything here and on your skills what you can do is select each one that you actually know so just select them and you go down see if you use any of these frameworks for example electron and so on so yeah add them you can add your github username twitter username anything you want here and it's actually very good you will go here to this generate readme and what it will actually do is create a quick readme which you can copy and paste on your profile itself on this on here so for example we'll just do a quick copy and paste to see how it looks and it will look something like this which looks nice but i always like to customize it myself so yeah this is an option i'll leave you this website on the description if you want to make a quick good looking readme file on your profile so yeah so let's start actually customizing our readme by ourselves and not by a generator what you will want to do first is click on this pencil icon and you will see we have a file this is the readme file and you can watch the preview so anything you write here for example let's make this an h3 for example so now we won't have it as a title let's go back with Control set and we have it back as a title this is good if you want what i will actually recommend you is to duplicate or clone your repository because it is actually easier and you can actually do it on your github profile so all you have to do is go to your repository click on code and then click on download zip if you want or copy this and on your terminal you can do git clone and you will paste the url and well what you will get is a new folder with your github readme file so I'm going to delete this since I have it open already. 
so it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, this is a way you can work on it on your VS Code rather than you know going here and going to the pencil and actually watching the preview. Having it on VS Code is more dynamic. So yeah, do a git clone and let's get started. Well, I took my cam so you guys can see it. There is this option right on top, on top right. So we'll close the terminal and we'll actually click it. And as you can see, we can see a preview of our website. So now that we know that option, what we can do is here actually see the changes in real time. This is the same as using HTML. So we'll do H1 and wrap it fully. And there, as you can see, it is an H1 or H2 or H3, and it will actually change. So you could use HTML elements right here. There is another option in which you can use H1s and so on, which is the numeric type of symbol. What you can do here, as you can see, I'm adding like one numeric, two numerics, three numerics. I think they're called hashtags, not actually numeric. Uh, so yeah, that was my fault. But yeah, one hashtag, for example, it will give you an H1. This is something you can add and you can change on. The description is the same. You can put anything here, text related. I am from Costa Rica, for example, and it will actually show there. Here, rather than me actually doing the hashtag, quote unquote, I actually use an H2, but what I can actually do, as I've shown you before, is wrap this up on an H1 and it will be better looking in the code. So yeah, it's the same. Now let's get to the skills, which is one of the most complicated parts. But what many people do is actually copy and paste from other people. So for example, Forrest Knight copied his languages and tools from code Stackar. So here you can see it. And I copied the same idea from Forest Knight. But what you can actually do is click any of the profiles or even my profile, click on the readme.md and click the raw option. And here uh, between all of this mess, you can see the languages and tools right here, which is basic HTML. So for example, if you wanted to add a new skill or wanted to change my skills, you don't need to download any images. Most of the images come from Devicon from here. So for example, if you know Angular, you can search for Angular and click it right here. And here you will have the actual href. So let's say I want to add Angular. What I will do is copy one of my elements, copy and paste, and I'll have two Gatsby's. It looks quite bad right here. The previewer is not the best. What you can do is go back down here and copy the image SRC file. So we'll do control save and let me change this SRC to Angular. And as you can see, we have now the Angular logo, which looks quite small. But yeah, I can change that. The preview is actually a bit bugged, but it works. Main things I've changed here were the width and the style. I added padding on everything, so nothing is like crammed up. So for example, if I removed everything, you will see that everything like is, is very cramped, very tight. So just add style padding 15px and everything will be spaced out nicely. So let's move on to something a little bit more complicated, which is the YouTube videos. This could take you a lot of trial and fail because it is not that simple, but the creator of this function is Denver code one and his repository about the YouTube videos is called GitHub readme YouTube cards, which I'll leave you all of these links in the description. But here, what you want to do is follow everything here. It is actually very simple, so I don't need to show you a step by step how to do it. But the main thing I want you to take away from my video when it comes to the YouTube cars is, you know, create the GitHub, create the workflows, create the YouTube cars .yaml. But please, if it doesn't work for you, add these three lines, which is common tag name, YouTube cards, actually create the YouTube API key. And I don't know, add show duration. I don't think this is necessary, but I think what solved my problem was adding the YouTube API key. Because what will happen is that on actions, you will know about this if you really want to add the YouTube cards and actually follow his GitHub. You will see that I have first actions failed. This was, I don't know why this was, but I feel like it was because I needed a YouTube API key, which is actually super easy to get. 
the description for getting a YouTube API key is super easy to follow and you will get it in like a minute. So yeah, if these very simple steps do not work for you, I'll highly recommend you to get into the YouTube API. I think it is here. Let me search for it. Uh, yeah, here we go. Setting up the action with a YouTube API key is actually super simple and super quick to do, even though it may seem like a mess. But yeah, that's when it comes to the adding latest YouTube videos. Like all you have to add is a title if you want and comment out where you want your beginning of YouTube cards and when you want them to end. So yeah, and the last one, which is stats, which has my GitHub stats, which actually looks very empty. This is because I haven't gotten into any open source project or any serious project that has to do with multiple people, but this will actually encourage me to get into those open source projects. But yeah, I'm going off the track right here. But in order to add these stats, what you can do is actually very easy. It comes from this GitHub repo, which I'll leave you to in the description from Anurag. I hope I said it correctly, which it's actually very easy to implement. For example, let's say that I don't have my stats card. So let's comment it out. We don't have it anymore. Let's add it. Anorak GitHub stats. And we can see Anorak Havras GitHub stats. What you can do is remove this link. And here on his name, I hope you see it better. Let me check if you guys can see it. Here on this username, all you have to do is put your username. I can put anybody's username right here and actually pull their stats from. So we'll do Fred Gutierrez, which is my GitHub. And as you can see, I have my stats. Let's, for example, I don't know, Forest Knight. We'll do Control Save and we'll copy it. And we got Forest Knight GitHub's stats. So it's actually very easy to implement. You don't need to download anything. You don't need to create any folder. All you have to do is a quick copy and paste. And you can customize it. The way I was able to customize my GitHub stats, that's information that Anurag gives you. So you can follow his repo but the main customization things i have is show icons to true and show theme vision as the friendly and dark which you can see the customization right here like all you have to change is this theme we'll change it i don't know to this which is regular and we have a completely different style so i'll do Control set to go back and i have this one which you guys may see as annoying if you have github on dark mode which is the border and what you can do is for example here we have the ugly white border which does not looks good on a github dark background which you can quickly do is add and height underscore border equals to true and yeah it took out the border and everything. And for the top languages that you use, it is explained right here. Let me search for it, top languages card. So it is the same, like you only have to change your username and I have the same or close to the same personalization on this URL. So yeah, it's actually very easy to implement. And yeah, that's so far my profile. In the future, of course, I will add more and more things to my profile as always i highly recommend you guys to actually keep updating things keep things fresh on your web development environment due to the fact that people like seeing you being active you getting outside of your comfort zone by doing this type of i don't know customizations and so on it's actually very attractive to other people that may want to work with you or may want to hire you so yeah that is um the way to do it, uh, please, before you go, a recommendation is to actually look at other people's repositories. If possible, search for more and more people. Don't just look at Code Stalker or Forest Knight or myself. Go out there and see other people work. And what you can quickly do to see what they have done, you can click the readme.md file and just do raw and you will get the actual code itself. Like you can copy and paste this and just get all of my stats because nothing here is programmed per se. The only things are the YouTube cards, of course, but other than that, you can copy and paste anything. So yeah, please customize it, turn it around, do anything you want with the code and make something of your own. So yeah, that is the video I wanted to share with you guys today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.